stop suffering from superwoman schema hey beauties welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome today we'll be talking about prioritizing yourself as a mom self-care as a mom i know it's almost non-existent but it is so important if you want to continue to keep going and continue to show up for not only yourself for your family but for your children so if these are the kind of topics that interest you please don't forget to subscribe i know when we think about self-care we think about the people who don't have children the people who don't work those that we think just have an infinite amount of time on their hands but some people who are super busy with multiple kids who work a hectic job some of them still find time to prioritize themselves so really it really comes down to you making yourself a priority that's really what it is self-care can be different for everyone if you're not someone who's used to taking care of yourself <laughs> when you start taking care of yourself they're gonna be like who the heck she thinks she is since when did you start prioritizing yourself yeah let them be surprised though hit them with it what are some things you can do for self-care come up with a face routine actually listen i caught myself trying to come up with a face routine i broke out listen i had clear skin before washing my face i swear <laughs> with dr bronner's and putting on baby aquaphor skin was smooth baby i said okay i'm gonna come up with a little facetime face routine why one day I wake up with all these bumps under my eye trying to put on some eye cream? Ooh. No. Uh-uh. Find a face care that works for you. Don't go on YouTube looking for little face care routines and now you're buying every product under the sun and then you all bumped and lumped up. You can do face masks. You can do healthy meal planning. You can go to the gym. You can pick up a, a nice hobby. Crocheting. Knitting. You can do things like getting out of the house, taking a bath, romanticize taking a bath. Light some little candles, put a couple little rose petals in the um, bath, get you some nice smelling Epsom salt. When you're journaling, write down, oh, I did self-care yesterday. Write down how it made you feel. Maybe it'll encourage you to do self-care a little bit more often. One of the biggest advice that I have for women is stop suffering from superwoman schema. This term was coined by a psychiatrist named Cheryl Gibson. And basically, supermom or super mom, super woman, it's like thinking you can do every single thing under the sun. You think you can be everything to yourself, your family, extended family members. If you're a foreigner, you got people coming from immigrants immigrating here. Oh, now everybody think that you're the one who know how to do it. Uh, now you done used up all your time, all your energy, depleted yourself trying to figure out everybody else's stuff. But can't nobody figure out your own stuff. Can't nobody do the stuff that you need to do for yourself half the time. So really start prioritizing yourself and doing things for yourself. Black women, we really suffer from the superwoman schema. We feel so obligated to present ourselves as this one thing. We can do everything because we're trying to attack all of the other negative stereotypes that they have placed on us. Oh, we're ghetto. We're hood rats. We're um, like promiscuous type of energy. There's so many black women who go to school and acquire degrees out of boredom. I feel like we get bored and we're like, you know what, let me go learn something. And let me prove something to somebody. If you're a mom, you live in your house with your partner, this is what you can do to prioritize self-care. Get yourself a magnetic calendar for the fridge. And then make days that you are going to do something for yourself. And do not waver on those days. Because something will come up. Family activity will come up. The kids going to need something. No. Right on the calendar, okay, this day, I'm going to get my nails done. On this day, I'm going to get my hair done. On this day, I'm going to go to do here or I'm going to go meet up with my friends or whatever it is that you're going to do for yourself. Write it down and do not waver on that day if it's not an emergency because what it will end up happening, boys, your husband, your partner. Oh, but I was going to go do this. But the kids, um, they need this. Child, do not waver on that day. If you're constantly depleting yourself with no recharge in sight, that leads to resentment. Now you're mad. And you always mad. What you mad about? Okay, now it's like, oh my God. Why'd I have kids so young? Why'd I have so many kids? You just start to find all these reasons on why you shouldn't have done that one thing when really it's just, that's on you because you're not prioritizing yourself. Little backstory. I'm complaining to my husband that Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted. Why do we have kids so young? I would have waited. They don't experience fatherhood the same. And as a matter of fact, it's so different. Like, if I'm saying, oh my God, what was I thinking? He's like, dude, if I would have had him earlier, I would have had him. I'm trying to be 
chilling in my 40s, no kids at home. And it's really because men prioritize themselves. They really do. They're going to take care of themselves. They're going to find some time to be like, I, right, I'm out of here. You handle these kids. I'm going to go out as guys night. Goodbye. They need that recharge. And I used to think, he's selfish. But once I started doing the same thing, oh, and by the way, on this date, this day, I'm out of here. I said, oh, this I feel that. This how it feels to be taking care of yourself, kid free, just being able to do something that you enjoy, even if it's just for a day, a couple hours, whatever the case may be. Find that time to take care of yourself. I really hope that you guys, as moms, young moms, really start to prioritize yourself. You will be such a better mom, a better partner, a better you for you. Energy is reciprocated. So once somebody see you genuinely like taking care of yourself, oh, they're going to want to take care of you too. Start asking um, for help. I don't know why it's so taboo to ask for help. Like recently I'm like, listen, I'm going to ask for help on getting it for the kids to get their hair done. I'm asking for help. Can you wash them for a few hours? Can you do this? Can you do that? And I have been so much happier. If I get a few hours to myself, I'm a happy camper, okay? Now, I'm going to clean the house. I'm going to cook some food. Oh, kids, come here. I'm going to give y'all some love. Everything. I hope this video encouraged you to love on yourself and to prioritize yourself and self-care. Comment down below some of the things that you do to take care of yourself, to recharge. I'm always looking for new ideas um, on how I can best take care of myself. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.